Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you how to cut and make the Chinese fabric toast bag. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? But it's very hard to cut and so people ask me how you cut the Chinese fabric without fraying. Look at this. You have to have patience and it have the backside beautiful. That's why I'm only you one, um, one fabric to make it because I don't want to put something on it. It's beautiful. Look at this. You have to have patience. If you don't have patience, I suggest you not doing this kind of fabric. Look at this. That's what I got in from the fabric store. I went home. It's the way it is. I wash it and I dry it. And now I show you how to iron it. Okay? You're going to put another fabric, cotton fabric on top of the Chinese fabric. And you set your, your iron machine um, medium high medium low it's okay but it take a while so put on top of it and then you iron the iron cannot go directly to the fabric because it going to burn the whole thing out unless you don't want to leave any more then go for it just kidding so you iron this way okay don't let the iron go directly on the fabric I tell you unless you want to move or buy a new house I want to turn into the other side you can use both sides if you want to it's so pretty so now I want this to be 22 inches long it's good enough for me to carry the iPad so you still ruler and this have the straight line right there for you most of Chinese fabric have that Thirteen, okay. To draw the line, you gotta draw the line straight like that. And now you see, this is the line I'm going to cut down. Using a pink and sheer. You have to have pink and sheer when you cut ja um, Chinese fabric. See how easy that cut? Follow the line. Cut little by little. So I use the tip of the scissor here, the pink and sheer, and I cut from the tip right there. And that's it everyone. That's how you cut the Chinese fabric with the pink and sheer. Alright, so everyone, I also cut two. Same technique that I show you how to cut. This is two and a half inch by 13. Two and a half inch by 13. And I have two. I also cut the heated bone interfacing, the one that you can iron on and then you peel the paper off. You can find that cheaper at Walmart. I'm going to place heat and bone tape on one side like this. Okay, the paper side is facing up. Okay, I'm going to put on it and I'm going to iron. When I iron, I'm going to have a pick through and see. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna go to the other side just like that. Okay, so now it's stick. You have the other one right here. The interface in here, heat and bone tape. I cut half an inch wide and 13 inches long, and I have six of them. I use two on each of the handle. Little time invest here, but it looks beautiful when you're done. You can also 
turn this down low and then you can go on the side of this as long as you don't go on the fabric just go easy take it easy like that go right into the interfacing like that okay just don't go on the fabric show you this one you're gonna do that one do what after you peel it out you're going to pull this in like this I'm going to put the fabric on it like this okay make sure you pull it down evenly like that now I'm going to iron on it and from here I just lift it up and I see it falling down so just do that okay I am and do the other piece too so now after I done two of so you can fold it together like this fold it the two two sides together like this it's the same way so this all the way and so that all the way I want to do both of them fold it together and then so all the other way all the other way and now this side right here for the first one when you put it on you're going to make sure you hold the fabric and move it up so make sure it's nice and straight up now like I'm that. going to add another 13 inches and half an inches on the top up the side here and then do the other half and just on this side too isn't that crazy so i place it in here and i do exactly the same this one iron on and then the other side get this one and iron the half an in by 13 on the other side too there So now everyone I did both sides fold it half an inch and the the facing that really like glue and all. I'm it. going to fold another time. And this time you don't really need to um to do much. You can just do this, okay? You just clip it down. I'm gonna fold it like this. You're gonna do the other side, same thing okay and then from the center i'm gonna mark two and a half inch out to the left and then two and a half to the right i'm going to slide this handle in one side like this at the two and a half inch clip it down you're gonna use a lot of clip here Go like this, go around, and then clip it where you mark two and half, and clip it down. So now everyone, after you add the handle, you go going to sew the bottom where the handle all the way. So the first line right here, everyone, all the way to the other end. And same thing to this From side. From here, all the way, all the way to the other end. I show you. You're gonna flap this. Okay, flap it up. And then clip it down like this. And then on this side, same thing. 
you flap the handle up right here. Make sure it meets the line here and everything. So now everyone after you sew on the handle up, you're going to bring the right side to the right side. On the right side, we are on the right side. A quarter of an inch. Go ahead and sew it straight lie down on both sides. So everyone, after I sew the two lines right here, you go ahead and inside out this whole thing. Easy, big. Push all the line out and everything. On the bottom, I'm going to go and clip at the top here so because the fabric move a lot. Yeah, and you, when you make something, you control the fabric. The fabric don't control you. So you have to make sure that you clip it down so it won't slide in and out while you measure the bottom. Okay, On the bottom, mark one inch. I'm going to go and fold it like this. Fold it up. There you go and inside out this. Beautiful and bad. Look at that. The bottom right here. It's very tiny press here. It just looks nicer. Look how cute this is. This is the bottom of the bat and this is on the top here. Beautiful. We just measure for you so you can see. We go down. I can show you how big it is on the top here. That is 11 inches. And top down, I'm not counting the bottom when I fold it like this. So that is almost nine inches, eight and, and three quarter of an inch. And then the bottom here because you fold, so it's two inches. So cute, easy. If you want, you can add the button right here if you want. If not, it's okay. And then I can put my iPad in there when I take it with me. To the car or something like that very very easy to sew but you need to know the um, the trick to do that kind of fabric everyone look how beautiful it is everyone now you know how to cut the chinese fabric look at that this is um good size for the ipad if you want to put some like make for kids to put their stuffed animal like little one little dolls and things like that you can use that too or you can make it for yourself fancy Chinese fabric looks so pretty. Look at that. Stay safe and take care. Everyone. Thank you for watching and make sure you turn the bell notification when I upload the video. You get notified so you never miss any of my video everyone. Stay safe. Love you. Thank you for your donation to my channel everyone.